Iowa News, a green light on a pipeline project. The Iowa Utilities Board is approving a proposal from Summit Carbon Solutions for a CO2 pipeline that would run through Iowa and four other states. State House reporter Skylar Talal is getting reaction to the decision and seeing why things aren't totally set in stone. We are ex extremely disappointed in the IUB's decision, but not surprised. The Iowa Utilities Board approved Summit Carbon Solutions application to build carbon capture pipelines through 29 Iowa counties. And while surrounding states will have to sign off for it to happen, the IUB says the public benefit outweighs the private and public cost. But landowners say they're feeling outraged by the decision and promising not to give up after fighting these pipelines for the past three years. Unlike the song, this land is not your land, Summit. This land is our land, and it has been for more than 124 years in our family. Summit Carbon Solutions calls the decision a significant milestone for the company and the ag industry. But there are changes Summit will need to make before the IUB will issue a permit. And they can't start building their 688-mile pipeline until they receive permits in North and South Dakota. CEO Lee Blank says the momentum will continue as Summit prepares to file its South Dakota permit, and he says they're confident in a successful outcome. But landowners' lawyers are already planning to appeal the IUB's decision, saying this fight could go on for years. Will we give up? No, we will appeal, and we will never give up. Iowa State Rep Steve Holt expects the issue to go before the Iowa Supreme Court, claiming it sets a horrible precedent for the use of eminent domain. And while reps in the Iowa House have been passing bills in support of landowners over the last two years, Senate Republicans aren't picking up the issue, failing to bring landowners' rights to the floor for debate. I will support wholesale reform of the Iowa Utilities Board because I believe it has failed the citizens of Iowa. It has failed landowners in Iowa. It is an egregious decision. The system clearly in 2024 is not working properly. In Des Moines, Skylar Law reporting.